right guys welcome back to n style motorsports um just wanted to give you an update <coughs> excuse me on the mac valve this thing right here notice it's not in the vehicle um yeah i installed it the minute i installed it i definitely felt something was off I will admit I did not give it enough time, only about a day, a day and a half, or maybe two days really, um, but something fell off immediately and it just it happened to be a coincidence that a friend of mine with his Elantra Sport had been running this for just about a year and he had been having some issues with which what he thought was the um his dct and uh he, he brought it in the hyundai <clears throat> you know they told him he was only running at 90 some percent throttle or you know power output and it, it just you know to, to bring the car back so he ended up bringing the car back they looked at everything and you know he has some mods done the intercooler intake and so on a blow -off valve and they hooked it up to the machine and they got the code mac valve so i went to go pick him up you know i witnessed this all uh you know to myself and after seeing that that was enough to tell me right away let me rip it out of the car i don't think this is uh proper for this vehicle now i know a lot of people on the veloster turbo run it on the older ones like 2016 2015 2014 and so on um and it might benefit that car but for whatever odd reason not good for this for this platform for the veloster n so i would definitely recommend staying away from it i only paid 60 bucks you know after shipping it came out to about 80 but you know just like i felt in my gut there was something off with it i was right definitely not good so save yourself some money don't buy the mac valve if you own a veloster n now some people tell me to get the ebcs but i do not believe and that's of course pretty much looks the same as this but it's the electronic boost solenoid control um they don't make it for the n but to tell you the truth i think the n and its sensors are good enough to handle the boost levels and and everything so not a big deal but that's that's the update i have on the mac valve um i did get get some fast fco4 rims which you'll see welcome to n style motorsports guys and gals here just to show you a little something i was fortunate enough to get from the tcr race down at daytona got myself a little brian herda auto sports shirt got all the signatures of the drivers and sorry don't mind my mess here i got like a ton of freaking rims everywhere also wanted to show you the newest addition to what i got going on ohm the drag rims so i was lucky enough to purchase a pair of these fast fco4 17 inch by 8.5 or i'm sorry 17 inch by 8 inch plus 45 offset fast fco4 pair of wheels the same ones that the current record holder of the veloster n at the drag strip uses not sure when I plan on exactly um, getting tires for that, but, you know, sometime in the future, I suppose. I still got to work on the exhaust, downpipe, things of that nature. Also, a buddy of mine was really cool, and he gave me this sticker. I love it. It speaks for itself, if you can read that. Get in, shut up, and hold on. <laughs> no, you can't drive. Don't tell me how to drive. Always watch for cops. No adjusting vehicle settings. No screaming or vomiting. No whining about the car size. No quoting traffic laws. Warning, Hyundai rules. Awesome sticker. Shout out to my buddy who has the Red Veloster N. I believe it's Red Velo 2630, I think. 
I don't have to check back on that. But you can follow him on Instagram. Really cool guy. Just wanted to show you the rims real quick, though, and uh, hopefully have plans to try and take down that Veloster record one day. And those were my rims, along with the nice T-shirt that I got from the end booth at the Rolex race. Uh, it was an amazing race. Um, unfortunately, the ends didn't come on top. They came fourth, fifth, and sixth, but it's really nice to see they have the brand new red Veloster end with Chavez driving. Um, I feel really good about their chances this year, especially running five ends in the field now. It's amazing. You know, last year they only had two Veloster ends, and everybody saw how well they performed. I mean, they won the championship the first year, and that was enough to get some other people on board. So, you know, it's definitely going to be an interesting year in TCR. Um, as far as the Rolex 24, that was an amazing race. Porsche versus BMW all the way to the end. Very close race. Perfect weather. Record uh, lap setting pace. I believe they did, what was it, 158 laps, something like that. Um, so they broke the record, which I can't remember which year they set that record. I think it was only two years ago, actually, in 2018 when they set that record. But don't quote me on that. Uh, yeah, just to give you a little quick summary on how that's doing. Like I said, I do plan on getting around to putting some tires on those fast FCO4 rims to get some traction at the track. See if I can give um, the world record a try and, you know, maybe beat it. Who knows? Hopefully. That'd be a nice thing to a uh, nice little bragging right to have or, or whatnot. But, you know, I also want to work on the exhaust in this car because, like I said, I have still all the stock exhaust, stock cat, stock, you know, piping, stock mufflers, everything. And I need to balance the car out a little bit and get some of that sound out. And it's funny because they say the Velocity N sounds so good, and it does from factory. But I've gotten quite used to the sound, and now I want a little more. <laughs> Tell you the truth, it really it sounds quiet to me now, which is odd, I guess some people would say. But hey, that's just me. But anyway. Thanks again, everybody, for subscribing. Please hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you want more content. I'm really out here trying to actually give you real live world data on the end. You know, I'm out here really pushing the car hard, showing what the parts can do. Once again, I want to say thanks to Forge Motorsports for all the help with their parts. Uh, they make amazing, amazing parts for the end. You know, if you haven't checked out Forge, you really should. Uh, you know, the, their intercooler is top notch and it is an amazing price. And, you know, one of the reasons I say this is because I know Gen Racer is running all the Forge parts actually that I'm running on the car the intake, the blow -out valve, the intercooler, everything on their race car. And if it wasn't good, I don't think Gen Racer would be using it on their race car. Gen Racer is not sponsored by Forge. They don't have a Forge sticker anywhere on their car. I mean, that has to tell you something. You know, the the parts are well-made parts to endure, you know, those crazy, you know, one, two-hour races that, that they do in the TC class. So... That's all I have to say. Thanks again for all the subscribers. I really appreciate it. Please, everybody, hit that like button. Subscribe. There's going to be a lot more content coming, I promise you. And hopefully I get around to getting some drag slicks and beating that record. Take it easy.